Today we fly out to the southwest Lake Macquarie suburb of Araring. Nestled on the shores of Lake Macquarie in New South Wales is Araring Power Station. For nearly 50 years, Araring has been a cornerstone of the state's energy infrastructure. It is Australia's largest power station. The site of Araring was selected due to its proximity to coal fields, large amounts of water for cooling and the availability of land, which consists of around 150 hectares. Construction of Araring Power Station commenced in 1977 at a total cost of $1.65 billion. The first of its four 720 megawatts Toshiba steam-driven turbo alternators was commissioned in 1982, with the second and third in 83, and the fourth in 1984. The plant has two smokestacks, 200 metres in height. Originally owned by the New South Wales government under Araring Energy, the station was privatised and acquired by Origin Energy in 2013. Araring comprises of four coal-fired generator units, each with a capacity of 720 megawatts, totaling 2,880 megawatts. Additionally, there's a 42 megawatt diesel fueled gas turbine, bringing the total capacity to 2,922 megawatts. The output capacity accounts for approximately 25% of New South Wales electricity generation capacity. Between 2011 and 12, each unit was upgraded from the original 660 megawatt to the now 720 megawatt. The control room was upgraded to a fully digital system in 2005. Araring utilises salt water from Lake Macquarie for cooling purposes, supplied through a concrete tunnel underneath Dora Creek. To conserve potable water, the station uses heavily purified reclaimed sewage water from the Dora Creek Waste Water Treatment Works to generate steam for the turbines. Myuna and Mandalong coal mines, both owned by Centennial Coal, have been supplying Araring with thermal coal for the entirety of their lifetime. Around half of Mandalong's production goes to Araring, while Myuna operates as a fully captured coal mine. Araring consumes around 5.2 million tonnes of coal annually. The coal is crushed and loaded into furnaces which reach temperatures of around 1480 degrees Celsius. Around 43% of the ash recovered from the consumed coal is recycled into cement and other concrete products. It emits around 14.9 million tonnes of CO2 annually. Originally slated for closure in 2025, the New South Wales Government extended Araring's operational life to August 2027, with potential operations being extended until 2029. This extension aims to ensure energy reliability during the state's transition to renewable sources. In 2024, the station experienced approximately 6,000 hours of outages across its four units highlighting challenges in maintaining an ageing infrastructure. As part of the transition to renewable energy, Origin Energy is developing a battery energy storage system. Once completed, the BESS will have a capacity of 700 megawatts or 2,800 megawatt hours, making it one of the largest in the Southern Hemisphere. This system will support grid stability when or if coal-fired units are phased out. At over 17 hectares, or 24 soccer fields, it will host more than 2,000 individual battery enclosures and around 180 kilometres of cabling. At 2,800 megawatt hours, the Araring battery will dispatch enough energy to power more than 150,000 New South Wales households annually. Assist variable renewable energy or top up supply from based outages. The Stage 3 BESS is anticipated to come online alongside Stage 1 at the end of 2025. Stage 2, which is the final stage, is anticipated to come online in the first quarter of the 2027 calendar year. Araring Power Station has given essential service to Australians since its beginning and it serves as an important facility as we journey towards a sustainable energy future. A huge thank you to those that have liked and subscribed. 
feel free to leave comments below. And I hope to catch you on the next one.